welcome back. I am still looking to get all my crowns for the modded clan. Some on record, well, on record recorded, others not. And uh, I think it's about time to do some Arcadian. I do have thoughts about the clan. Some, well, you have the two. You have Disciple with Pattern Shift, Consume Teleport a unit to a random floor. You have Galacopus, Galacopus? Anyways, the Owl Man, uh, and the Analog. The Analog one's interesting because it often changes depending on what clan you are. Um, mostly it changes if you're, you know, well, it was programmed with the main clans in mind, um, not with the modded clans. So I've not seen all of them. I will say you can get through runs with these uh you have better luck in my opinion if you're the exile champion the exile cards than the primary champion i also think you're better off if you are not the champion in general at least especially for the primary clan uh, but we're gonna try what one two runs see if we can't get a win out at the moment on record looking for the first one without a crown which is going to be we could do torches or implants neither one's too bad um i do think there's a few bugs with our acadian as well and if i encounter them i'll try to highlight that but what do we get we get daedalist experimental fell wings of safety surf the chase flash fire pyre butte pyre abuse, pyre boost deal damage to enemy units and pyre boost means it deals damage equal to the pyre's attack so there's a slight pyre the sub theme in the clan we got some more AOE with Molten Imp and Dilation. Apply one size and eight health per X. All right. Let's go ahead and check out our champion. All right, so you get Shifter. This can clan does have a lot of relocation things. Um, apply two, two, two friendly units when they relocate. Yeah, so sorry. When this relocates, you apply plus two, plus two. It is a... Uh, inconsistent i should say to get this buff and then you have symbiote one plus five attack oh there's some text issues that's fine uh plus five attack for each used space on the floor um this one i think is probably the strongest path i'm going to pick it it is a little weird sometimes getting things correct we're going to take refracting lens and see if i encounter some of the issues i know of all right so we have couple of options we got purloined heaven seal friendly units restore all health when they change floors we have fortune cookie enemies enter with loaded five so they have five stacks of this loaded uh, if they attack or end their turn they lose one stack and then they drop money when they die and then we have traders quill i already have the reform here we're going to do let's do some loaded get some money it's going to earn me more than 25 gold I have torches, so I don't really mind picking out some backliners. Let's go to ultra speed. And we are... See, right, if we just... I'm going to shift, okay, just to get it out of here, but might as well use the ping as well. We are going to... Molten Imp. We're going to take out spell shield there get another five extra gold now this is another one i think the size increases bug right so i have three embers this should put you to a five sized unit but let's check out if that's true right eight sixteen twenty four you get plus twenty four that's four wait a second what eight to sixteen twenty four to thirty two sorry that is three okay so let's excuse me on that well let's go ahead and just fully pump them up it should get plus three size but it's all the way to a six size it got plus four size for some reason this is giving oh semi consume pile dilation is giving extra size i mean it's great with this unit but it is uh not how it's supposed to be working it also messed up my uh stuff there all right I think we're just going to flash fire the floor, get some money, get the full stats. We can drop a Molten Imp, 
cool. Train steward and a torch. We're not going to get the extra money from the boss. That's fine. But we already got the kill, so I'm just going to pattern shift to get five more health. And we get the kill. All right. Um, so we get a couple options. We already have some flash fires. Firewall is not bad. Just free armor can be useful, but we also get palm reading. I kind of like palm reading. Uh, it helps you filter your deck pretty quickly. You look at, what was it, the top X cards, where X is the twice your current ember, and discard any of them. And then from here, do we want, I mean, you want offense first. Do you want offense, then you can get defense. Okay. So we've got a couple of units. We have, obviously, Demon Fiend. We have Shimmer Snail, the mobile enchant grant Quick, so it gives other units quick. And then we have Cinder Shell, Ember Mark. So each time you gain an energy, this gets plus two attack. Um, they're not, they're pretty identical for what they can grant as infusions. We do see Hellhorn Banner here, which is very, very much preferred. Um, the Arcadian Banners, yeah, you, you preferably don't want to rely on Arcadian as your banner carry. Um, I'm going to take the Cinder Shell because I don't want a two cost number. I also haven't mastered the unit yet, so that's part of the influence. Steel, we see multi strike and health. That is great. We're just going to put that into a Rail Beater. Because, you know, melee weakness is good. And then here, oh, we get seven ember turn one at. Uh, named Relic at the end of your turn, the highest HP friendly unit on each floor moves to the front. Interesting. And each ember you gain gives plus one fire. Let's just take. I mean, firebox is always good. Pyre fire is really amusing. Uh, but I think we can get some good stuff with the rail beater otherwise. So we're going to take the improved firebox and go with that. All right, so we are going to play you first. We're going to play you in middle. We're just going to sweep out that floor like this, and we're going to call that great. I mean, obviously, we dropped you. We are killing that floor, so we're just going to torch the healer. And now we're going to just try to shift some units up. Because um, it also gains me health. Shift up. No. Shift up. No. Okay. It is what it is. Wait a second. Were you even gaining your attack? I don't think my Cinder Shell gained any attack. It has not. Oh man. Ember Mark's bugged? I didn't remember that being bugged. Well, that's really, I'll be honest, unexpected. Anyways, let's discard a bunch of cards. Let's keep the imp. Let's keep the teleport. Yeah, we'll keep both imps and the teleport. So I'm going to select all these other ones to discard. Cool. We are going to go ahead and Oh, you do this. So if I do this, what? We are doing 30 with you. That's not enough to get the kill. So that's going to go up no matter what. So we're just going to get the extra damage. Then we're just going to do this for the extra size. Right, so it's plus two size, but you're a size six unit now. Okay, you got your attack there. Maybe I'm just insane. Who knows? Let's discard some cards. We don't need the pattern shift anymore. Oh, it is five health. We definitely don't need two flash fires. All right. We're going to imp. We are going to imp. We're just going to send you up, gain five health. Now you're in the back there. It's all fine. This should be a good kill. Let's just flash fire to make sure. There we go. 
Okay, now we get some more choices. Apple elixirs, interesting, consume, apply gravity three. So gravity means the unit will, uh, at the end of combat, go down as many floors as it can with gravity and then get stuck on the bottom floor if it still has remaining gravity. Uh, this is also really good for, by the way, Relentless, because if you apply this to some, a unit during Relentless, uh, it gets stuck on the floor and can get frozen out. You get Ember Wave. That's just some nice free damage, better than Torch by a long shot. And you get Flash Feather is an interesting one. Apply Days 2 to the last attacking enemy and then send them to the Pyre Room. It's infusions, the same thing. It uh, also has Icarian, something to keep in mind. Icarian is at the end of turn, it ascends a floor, and then if it reaches the Pyre, it's destroyed. I am going to take Ember Wave. I think I just want a good damage spell. Speaking of good damage spell, we'll take the Horn Break. Now we have two good things besides torches. Um, I might. I dupe the fledgling imp. That might be my strategy for now. Is there anything here that's good for? Nah. We'll probably just dupe the fledgling imp. Here we go. I think Ember Boost, by the way, is broken. It's supposed to give Ember Boost to something, and then you gain Ember at the start and next turn when the stack decreases. But I think that is broken. Um, we're just gonna skip. Minus two on something. Let's make a flash fire nice and cheap. Let's check our concealed caverns. Uh, we're going to take a Stygian Guard Rare pick. Interesting choices. Let's just take the Ice Empire because it's good damage. All right, Purge out. We are going to get rid of Pattern Shifts. Just because they're random, they're really difficult to use. We can put the Cinder Shell into the Rail Beater. It's a little bit of offensive scaling. And we're going to go ahead and dupe the Fledgling Imp for some hopefully endless in the future. Double Barrel is Double Barrel. Right, so we can just go ahead and just pop this. Well, let's just blast you for 50 damage. I think that's a smarter choice. Um, we drop both of these. We're going to shift one of those out to the pyre. It's fine. I can heal anyways. All right, we're going to discard some cards. Let's get rid of these. I want to get to my imp if I can. We're just going to torch that out. And... I don't want to send... You can accidentally send those to the Pyre, by the way. Um, and they will blow up and damage your Pyre for damage. Alright. Well, this is a nice turn. Let's get some imps going. We are going to sweep out this floor. We can drop the Train Sword. It could just cast this for health, but I'm going to let it cycle through for a turn. Awesome. We get the stats back. Okay. We can, at this point, just go ahead and send you somewhere. Gain the health. Not where I was hoping to send it. It's fine. We are just going to sweep out the floor to kill everything. We're going to blast once, and then we're just going to do this for more defense. Same thing, we're just going to blast for as much damage as we can. Now the next same turn. We can blast again. We can't take you out quite. So we're just going to throw the rest into the boss, but this is enough to get the kill. Not quite there on damage yet. Double armor, relocate, gain five attack, or alloy of the ancients. We're just going to take the alloy of the ancients. Got some more units. Something I really need. Jelly Scholar is some good 
defensive scaling. This guy's just a stat stick that costs cheaper each round, so it's not amazing. It is what it is. But let's take more draw. All right, we're going to start with the steel here, Impervious. So Impervious is an interesting one. Uh, the main downside is it replaces the big upgrade. Um, uh, but it, that unit cannot be attacked until the boss joins combat. That means Relentless starts. Um, it's actually super good defense, for example, against Divinity. If you have a weak carry unit or a weak... Uh, you know, status apply or something. Uh, I've never actually used Lodestone. Upgrade unit to gain relocate, apply gravity one. It could be good, who knows. Another multi-strike, I don't need that. That was my hope for endless. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste. Ward Masters, the medium one, it, I don't think it scales enough. Um, you add a ward at the end of each turn and that deals damage to units. Um, a random unit, so it really messes up combat math and it's hard control so we're just gonna skip that yeah I think that might be my last maybe in the future I'll try to get uh, another endless but not at the moment we're gonna set these two down we're gonna set you down we're going to pyre Right, so this is good at getting tanks out of here, which is nice. So we're going to send you up, and we're just going to torch out that. Alright, so we can torch flash fire. And then torch this. I'm going to keep doing similar things. I'm gonna keep taking out the backliners. That's 160. We are saving a little damage. Let's send you up. Awesome. We get a little bit more. And you know what? Oh, I get no size from doing it that way. That's a shame. All right, let's just shift out a few things. Let's take the torch and imp next turn. Um, we are going to take you out, we're going to gain that, and we're going to send you upward. That's fine. We do get two umber, awesome. So let's get some rage. Let's go ahead and take that unit out. Do this, do this. We're going to send the train steward and shift it up to get some health and some more damage on you. And then just... 30 straight damage is enough to get there. We're not scaling super hard yet, which is the downside. Eh, we can take an unbroken horn. I don't know how that actually will play with things. All right. So a couple of interesting ones, Vigor Ward and Rewind. Um, the Ward just brings back pattern shifts, so probably not. The Owl gives me Ember, which is fine. Um, it's usable. It's definitely usable. And then the Vigor Ward apply plus five to friendly units, and then if something relocates to the floor, it gets five attack again. It is more damage scaling. I do think these are bugged with consume relics, but I'm not sure. Let's take the Owl, get some more energy. It pairs well with what I'm doing. And let's take the Impish Scholar because I can. All right get some boons we're gonna see what we have here a hold over divine temple shows me magic power and intrinsic this shows me that is good damage but I'm actually gonna take the bone rattler and give it intrinsic that's really amusing um, let's get a big damage spell Units, I think. Let's put a fledgling imp into the fledgling imp for now. All right, we're going to get rid of some train stewards. They are not needed. 
We're going to minus one this alloy of the ancients. Hold over. It's not bad on this. This is actually... You know, I will pay a card to constantly filter my deck. We're going to save the dilation to endless. That's good. Let's go ahead and minus one... So this flash fire to make it cheaper plus 10 can go into horn break we do want to get rid of some train stewards they are kind of once again in the way we can get rid of two train stewards okay sure this is fine i don't have piercing but you know i have torches all right We are going to drop you and you. I'm going to pattern shift you out. Oof. Not where I wanted you to end, but it's fine. I'm going to give the pyre plus 35 damage. We take it out pretty easily at least. All right, more health. We are just going to Molten Imp. We are going to Flash Fire once to get rid of a Spell Shield. There we go. Palm reading. Wish I could view this. We do want one pattern shift, so we're just going to get rid of those three. We're going to drop this down. And we can torch out the multi striker. Or the mid guy. Awesome. Alright. We are going to do this first. Um. I don't know if there's anything I need back with that. So we pattern shift you, we ping out that guy. I think we do good work for a little bit. Hmm. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's just do our shift. Um. You know what, I think I'm going to take the Pyre Bound and get rid of everything else. I'm going to drop the Owl here. This can just get rid of a damage shield, right? We do that and now we should be able to clear something next turn. Um, don't want a Pattern Shift, at least not yet. We're going to gain that extra Ember though. And discard, 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 none of those are actually useful. We can blast that unit. We can torch. We can torch. We can put an impish scholar in the back for a little bit more damage. I think that's fine. Let's uh, just drop the train steward mid. Cool. Let's get rid of a few things. Let's get rid of... You do have spell shields, so we do want to torch you twice. But otherwise, we get rid of the rest of this. Okay. Well, we can do this, this. And then dilation for plus 16 health. Will this be enough? Not even close. Oofed. Yeah, the, you just get no scaling support from the clan. Do I have a way of getting a thousand damage in even? I don't think there is. I think this just might be a call right now. If I got the endless here, I could have been fully supported just by Hellhorn to get the win. I do not get the endless. I don't think there was any honest issues with the plays I think it's mainly just if I got the endless this would have been fine um, but I, yeah I, I don't think there's any way to get another 500 damage into you I have one big damage spell there's no way I get enough health more just from what you took maybe 30 damage yeah it's not even one more round of combat
So we're just gonna allow it to go. And we're just gonna try again. We're gonna just rotate the clans as well. All right, new run. We are still gonna keep Disciple, but let's go to you. Should it be Root Seeds? Root Seeds are always good. We do need the offensive scaling. All right. This time we get Synchronicity, deal five damage, reserve, increase all their damages by 10. We got two of them. We get Overward, consume to send friendly units after combat. Who do we get here? We are still going to, I guess you could do the relocate with Disciple this time. It's just not much scaling. It's plus two plus two and it's hard to consistently do. Um, let's do this. We can get tanks pretty easily. So let's do the unnamed relic. And this time, may we do the pyre fire? We don't have the tanks, but we don't have good healing, so Awoken or Thorned Hollow is probably not ideal. Okay, we're just gonna go you. We are going to sharpen as well because we need as much attack as possible. Um, we can shift this away and drop a train steward. Right, you're gonna come to front because of the thing. That is honestly not ideal. Um, let's give you more spikes then. We have to take that out or we just lose. Um, let's get some more attack. You're at eight, oh you jerk. Um, we play you, we shift, and we take that out. We're just going to get as much damage as possible. And call it that. Okay. There we go. This is a good... Wax Pinion's great. Ascend a unit to the Pyre, because you can ascend your units and they stop the top floor. We need as much defense scaling as we can. Let's take the Sweeper. Here we see Endless, not ideal. Here we see an Animus of Will, though. Which we can easily just put a 25 health into. I could put the Sweeper. I actually think there could be something better. We can give you a plus 30. We can get rid of a Pattern Shift. Um... Yeah, it's kind of slow scaling. I mean, it's already kind of slow. Just do a train steward. Train steward to thin the deck down by one. Now, it's definitely one of these instances where I'm not sure if this one was actually a trap. Because you're just going to go front if I... Let's just send you. Awesome. You actually went like that. That's good. Do you die? Not quite. You are scary, so we are going to get as much attack as we can. Good. Thank you, Train Steward, for going to the front. Oh, it does it to enemy units? That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Um... We take that up, we kill this one. We are just going to send you somewhere. Where'd you go? And then send you up, and then get more multi-strike. All right. We get rid of this, that's fine. We are going to get, oh my gosh, the sweeper. Spikes on you, because you're the most damaged. Let's go ahead and just take that out, and we're going to do that again. 
And one last time, we just need to throw as much damage in there as possible. We can take one hit. I think this relic was a huge trap. I think it just killed me. We're just gonna let this go. Yeah. I think that relic is a huge trap. Um, we're gonna count that as a no. We're gonna go down one more clan. We're gonna be Stygian. We will, oh, we already got a win with this. So we're not gonna be Stygian. We're gonna be Umbra. Oh goodness. <laughs> we're gonna be Plinks. Uh, what do we get? We ha wax pinions with a clan that can't use it. Okay, we got Revelation. Look at the top four cards here. Draw a pile and choose one to add to your hand and Tumbra Assault. Whew! Okay. We still take the Symbiote. We're going to take the Firewall. We are going to greed out of sketches. It's just, it's just what we're going to do. Okay. Mark of Invasion's fine. We're gonna plink, plink. We're gonna take this out again. I wonder how exactly your scaling will work. We're gonna plink again. Um, let's keep those guys in and just keep the health for now. I'm never quite sure how this guy is actually calculating, because currently he has 12 attack, right? But he only gained 2, so he still has... Oh, because it's on, duh. Okay. We can send that to the fire. Uh, let's copy a plink, because I can. And this double plink bottom. I guess I could have sent you up. That would have been good. Let's actually send them off floor. Not how I wanted to go, but we do have higher armor. Awesome. We are going to send you somewhere. You made it. We're going to send you somewhere. You made it. We're going to send you somewhere. Oh, we're doing good there. Why not? There we go. Plink's doing well round one. Pale yellow. I think we're gonna need some extra wave clear, so we're gonna take the flash feather. We're gonna take the perils. Oh though the flash feather. Why'd I do that? Sketches. Um Shadow Siege. Shadow Siege. Crucible Warden is something. We're just going to give you a large stone and uh, call that good. It's damage. Spell chain, the perils of production. We can pierce in some planks. Staple a couple of train stewards together. Continue on with the fight. Sure, this is anti blink. We're gonna be fine. All right, look at the top cards. I guess this doesn't matter. We're just gonna send you up. Send those two down. Very cool. It's gonna take a lot of damage next turn. Let's send some things away. Let's send you away. Very cool. Let's send you away. It is what it is. Take out your damage shield. Double plank is great. Um, let's try to send you to the top floor. Awesome. Try to send you to the top floor. Awesome. And plank. Two damage shield just 
honestly might be enough to get us there. All right, we squeeze in this round. Let's take a flash fire because it's AOE and we kind of need that. Skip. And, gosh, no. You don't even give stats, unfortunately. Divine Artifact. I think we really just need... Let's get the health. Get my units to survive. Alright. Shadow Siege. Overgorger. That is not useful to me. Um, we are going to do Night Watch just because there's some good X cost spells we could get. Okay, there we go. Now we got a unit. We got the cave. Oh, we got the cave. Dupe? Anything worth a dupe right now? Could you get another wax pinion? It's pretty funny. Um, your resolve's annoying, but you're going to be my carry. Now I don't know what I want to dupe. Let's just get another Perils of Production. Alright. See, look at all the damage you deal. This is why... That is good. Of course, you go that floor. Let's go ahead and... Link this. We're going to wipe out the next floor as much as we can. Stop stealing my money, please. We're just going to send you up with two days. Oh, no. Ooh, you go up with two days. Okay, get out of here. I don't want you to go up with two days. Let's send you somewhere. That's fine. And just plink this floor. Alright, let's get some more souls. Let's get life steal, damage shield. Send another one up. Let's send the other one to a random location. All top floors fine. That is fine. We do need you to kill that. Um, let's copy something. Let's get another wax pinion. We're going to send you up. We are going to... We could get 240 into the boss, but I don't think that's necessary. So we're going to blink. Send that up. This guy's going to get the kill. I can't just randomly ascend you, though, because I don't want to die. Uh, you can go ahead and get taken out by the pyre. We've lost some gold, but it is what it is, because this is going to get an easy kill. Awesome. All right. The cave coming in clutch to actually win this. Let's just take some blazing bolts, because I want damage. I mean, the cave's my unit, right? Screw it, we're going to take the Gal Lizard, because I want to try and uh, master it. And that card annoys me otherwise a lot. Okay. Multi-strike, awesome. Health, awesome. Let's re-roll. We see an endless. Do I need an endless on anything? No. But we will take that. That's pretty good. All right, minus two can go into. Uh, we got a minus two and an intrinsic. It's minus two. The flash fire, intrinsic can go on. The wax pinion. You never know. That could be very useful. We are going to go ahead and put this into the cave for now. 
How many more temples? We got one, two more temples, and we need four more units for infusion. One, two, three, four. We have plenty of units. So we're going to get rid of two train stewards. I guess we could do the shifter now, just because I don't think I'm playing top floor. Well, I, could, I might have to play top floor in case it's, yeah, Cliff Conduits. So this is easy. This is why intrinsic, right? So we are going to play you here. We're going to, uh, we're going to really locate you because it's funny. And then relocate this. And then I guess we plink. We're just going to send this morsel somewhere. Yeah, this guy's weird. So it goes down each round and then comes back somewhere. All right, so we pierce that out. Let's just go ahead and get some more stats. All right, we're gonna look at the top four. We can go ahead and just get another perils going because it's funny. Um, let's shift you somewhere. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna plink. Great, now we floor wipe. You are just gonna take the perils for me. You are gonna shift somewhere. And here we're just going to Blazing Bolts. This is what it is. We are going to shift this unit. Cool. We're going to Plink, Plink, Shift. We are getting money, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and just send you away. Sure, this is going to cost me five more gold, but whatever. Does this give me 20 gold? No, because you can't move. So it doesn't matter. I just cost myself five gold. It is what it is. I gained a good amount from that unit's relocate, though. All right. Um, Your entire deck has frozen. That's actually pretty amusing, so we're going to do it. Skip. Who cares? Artifacts? Or spells? Spells are good. Spells remove. But concealed caverns and artifacts with the 400 gold. I like that. Chain of gems. Floor space, magic power. We're just going to take the magic power because I am already, you know, filling up my floors pretty heavily. Another minus two. This time can go into the blazing bolt. We're going to purge out the pattern shifts because they're not needed. We're going to put you into galley here because I want gold. And that's a lot of gold. Let's re-roll. None of that's needed. How many units we got? One, two, three, four units? Awesome. So next turn I can start duping them if need be. Yeah. This is fine. All right, we're just going to blink. Do this, let's just give our deck frozen and let's gain some gold. Yeah, you just kind of perish. You did your job, you got me money. I'm gonna just send you out. I'm gonna wipe this floor.
Doesn't really matter, honestly. So we're just. Oh no! Oh no! What I do? Eh. Whew! Almost lost my money. All right, we can take twelve more to the pirate if need be. We can also just take these guys out really easily. Let's just ship them away. Our deck's frozen, but we're not. What? Hold on. My entire deck is not frozen. My dead weight is not frozen. Oh, they lied to me. Ooh, let's get another flash fire. Clear the flash fires. Also, did not copy the frozen. Interesting. I guess it's not a permanent upgrade. Hmm. Blink once. Let you get some stats. Get some more stats. You can go ahead and perish. We can. Wait. What is going on here? You'd assume all the cards would keep the frozen, but they don't. That's weird. Okay, we send you up. Then we can blink. Let's gain some stats, because why not? Then we just throw everything else into the boss. get you out of here because I can. Whew. Okay, skip. Who needs the commander of Spike? Ooh, Pendulum is quite nice. Um, sorry, I should actually let you read the cards of viewers. Increase all buffs effects on friendly units and all debuff effects on enemy units by X. Plus my little Night Watch. It's nice. Um, we're going to... Well, my plan to freeze the deck as needed is not ideal anymore, but we're still going to take the Void Binding, I think. Um, right, so I have some really good stuff there. Now, the Merchant of Steel does let me do some very nice things. I can still get three caves, which is hilarious. So the Merchant Steel will let me upgrade this so it gets me more than just, you know, 60 gold and before dying. But I think 60 gold is honestly enough. Major Refraction. Just give me more stats, please. And then we're going to dupe you. Give me, give me my cave. Give me two caves. <sighs> ah, man. Look at that. Nice damage there. All right. Um, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to just try shifting you somewhere. Uh, you went middle. That's unfortunate. Let's ping bottom. Hey, you lived! Ask you were getting me so much gold then. I mean... Cool. I think we... Since you're already winning, let's just shift you. Do I get the gold first? I want to find out. We get that 20 gold. So you're going to give me 40 gold, and then it's going to be this combat floor. Easy flying kill. We got another X spell. Oh man, these ones are weird. <sighs> okay, so these rares. This one's just fine. Apply two X attack and armor to your pyre. It's nice and straightforward. Timestamp is very odd. You sacrifice a unit. You add a zero cost spell to your draw pile that takes all that unit's stats and upgrade and statuses all that fun stuff and puts it as an upgrade you can target onto any unit not really something i need right now but it is a hilarious thing right you can put sweep or trample on 
other units suddenly more multi-strike rage yeah um really fun also if you have an endless unit because then you sack it the endless unit yeah anyways uh right timing deal 15 damage for each of these in your deck and if you slay you add two copies to your discard pile we're going to take the x spell once again because we do have the night watch we're going to take more draw We're going to go to our Concealed Caverns first. Could just do Penitent Remains. Eh, we'll just do Calcified Ember. I have ways to get it out cheaply. Spell Chain. We're going to Spell Chain the Pendulum. We're going to Intrinsic it. Because that's just going to be good stuff for me. We're going to go ahead and put this into the Flash Feather. We're going to get rid of Plink and a Pattern Shift. Very cool, nice and easy. Otherwise, we can save our money pretty handedly. Um, permafrost, minus one. It's minus one, the Revelation. I'm going to spend a little bit. Remove Consume. That would be pretty funny, but I don't think we need to just copy a bunch of random stuff. This one is just two free Ember. Minus one on something. Do we have another Temple? We don't for those. So let's go ahead and just make the Flash Fire free. Alright, 830 gold is a good chunk of gold. Heaven Seal is fine. Just don't... Ember drain myself. All right, we can drop you down. And go ahead and let that hit our pyre. This targets the floor, not a unit. So we're gonna do it. And then we can just increase by one if we want it. I think we're just gonna blast you instead though. Bam, easy. This way we got all of our money, which is nice. Um, you're going to die, so I can go ahead and freeze. Ember Drain, we're gonna blast you and you for some, oh wait, Heaven Seal, I didn't need to blast that guy. All right, we've gotten two rounds of money. That is the most I've gotten so far. Let's get a card, let's get the, Free flash fire. Um, I'm gonna blast this floor just because we can. Double plank is cool. Let's take a blocker. I guess you're just going to die too. The spikes. Let's just shift you a couple of times. just to get all that money. All right, we just wipe that floor as much as we can. We're gonna get our damage increased. Yeah, our damage shield at least. Get rid of the junk. Awesome. Let's just pink here, blink, because I can. Flash fire, flash fire. You have frozen, so we're fine there. You know what? Plink, 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 plink. Bam. We're just going to throw all the damage out and just give you some damage shield. Easy kill. Another pendulum's good for us. None of that is needed. I'm going to see what we find here. Extra spell slot, teeth of gold. 
hold over. We can hold over our perils. We can make a blazing bolts free. We have so much money. Let's make a pendulum minus one. Don't need any of those reroll. We could get more money. We could get more money. Yes. It actually cost me money to do that, you know, but uh, I don't care. We're just going to dupe another one of these. And we're going to go on with this. Now the Frostbite, of course, is going to get rid of its shields, but uh, oh, I forgot I have four units still. Whoops. This is fine. You are just going to shift everywhere. Huh. All right. Yep. Yeah, buffs and buffs on me. Debuffs on them. Anyways. Last no gold to resolve. Got all the gold back. We got ahead four units. It doesn't matter. Two of them are going to take out divinity. That's just what fifty two hundred damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, 5,600 damage here. Because um, I can't play this one. No, it's fine. I'm going to just ping one of these. To get your stats up. You know what? I'm going to send one of these to the top floor. We're just going to take out you and then uh, our pyre gets bopped once, but we get some gold and we nearly kill the boss turn one. All right, something to get, sure, more perils. Let's just send you up, you up, freeze my deck. Doesn't matter. Plink, plink. Stats, plink. Bam. Hey! Mastered it. Get a crown, get a mastery. Boop. Boop. Run summary. So yeah, that was a few runs to get the win. Um, it, It's kind of the issue with this clan. It, it scaling is very low. It has some defensive scaling with a couple of spells, but uh, it doesn't scale much. It scales enough if you are the base game or low shards, but high shards are kind of just peter's off um poor peter but obviously you just you know roll something strong with the other clan like sketches and then a lucky cave of a thousand eyes from the beyonder mod uh and then that lets you get the win when you have 1400 gold we did use the gal lizard with a fortune teller infusion to gain some nice extra money so we did we're able to get a lot of money and make them large pendulum i think is a good card it's really good if you have stealth or days as well because then it just increases those stacks by one um great way to make it through relentless flash feather is not bad if you can control what it kills or what kills it excuse me to get some nice days it's also a good divinity top floor thing because the sweep will often kill it and then you just get couple of rounds of days for free um flash fire i think is overpriced but not bad though it might be too strong at two it's definitely kind of weak at three because it's tough to cast otherwise yeah i mean you didn't really like our banner units we saw for the main clan were not amazing disciple was not amazing um it's just kind of the biggest issue with the main clan the 
where is it? Pattern shift is just so hard to utilize well that it is difficult. Um, occasionally, you can do something like permafrost it into relentless and then move, you know, the relentless units away or move something like your middle floor guy to the top floor once mid floor gets hit with the relentless. Um, but otherwise, it's just, it's so tough to do correctly. You kind of want two at the same time in case things go horribly wrong. You lose a unit you wanted to keep or you send a unit that would kill you to your pyre. Yeah. But otherwise, very fast run because of the cave. That's why we had the score, not because of the <laughs> Arcadian. But you know, hey, the high roll to the crown. That is, I will take it. So with that said, thank you for watching and have fun.